I'm calling these radicals in architectural photography, although uh, many of them are uh, not necessarily so radical, except that um, I'm thinking of any, anything that has, um, any image that has advanced um, architectural photography as being fairly radical. Somebody had to do it first, and um, these were the, the people in the images that um, occurred to me in that vein. Um, this is Nies Fournieps, uh, the first image, and here we have architecture right off the bat. It's William Henry Fox Talbot. And um, again, for being one of the inventors of the medium. Which is also true of uh, Louis Daguerre. Inventors, yes, but also um, without doubt um, artists. Francis Frith and others like him who traveled and take, took pictures in areas that um, Europeans had uh, not had any direct knowledge of, other than what they'd heard, what they'd read, what they had seen in paintings, perhaps. And here we have no Charles Legray um, uh, cropping tightly, including a, a person, rather whimsical image, but very powerful nonetheless. George Barnard and um, various other photographers who photographed the uh, aftermath of the Civil War. And Timothy O'Sullivan and other photographers like him who documented um, the Western US um, in order to establish the um, national parks. Frederick Evans seeing details in churches and cathedrals so beautifully. Carlton Watkins for um, recording a, a tree as, in, as important as the buildings under it, perhaps more so. Arnold Gantley for covering great, if calamitous, events. Alfred Stieglitz for um, his own photographs, but also championing, championing the work of others, um, and certainly for furthering um, architecture in photography up until his last days. Edward Steichen for very much the same reason. Eugene Nace for um, looking at architecture like no one else had. And also to see the noteworthy and very um, subtle circumstances. Paul Strand for realizing the dramatic. And for having the audacity to crop objects in just this way. Carl Struss for allowing um, such deep shadows. Bernice, Bernice Abbott for pointing her camera down. Man Ray for seeing the Eiffel Tower as nobody else would see it. And Bersai for um, taking images at night 
and allowing um, them to remain mysterious. Albert Branger Patch for Common Scene Seen Uncommonly. Margaret Burke White going to any lengths to get an image. Walker Evans for cropping his frames the way he, he did, alluding to a world beyond. And for seeing the everyday Andre Kertesz for seeing the absurd and recording that. And for seeing the poetry of everyday objects. And Ralph Steiner for seeing the complex in, in the simple. Edward Weston for seeing things only the way he would. For Ansel Adams venturing into the city. And to Andreas Feininger for confounding us. Werner Mance for documenting the work of the Bauhaus architects. Lee Miller seeing the unusual in the everyday. And for photographers like Frank Navarro for documenting um, the unusual in everyday life. Art, uh, Henri Cartier-Bresson for um, showing us the gestural in people and how they relate to their environments. Max Yavno for seeing exquisite light. Winston Link for documenting everything having to do with trains at night. Margaret Mather for seeing the poetic in the everyday. Minor white turning a, an otherwise common landscape into something truly uncommon with infrared film. Robert Frank for looking at what nobody else would at the time. Barrington Hill of Ecker for looking at industrial um, landscapes. Ga Gary Winogrand for um, his own idiosyncratic view. Lee Friedlander for his perhaps even more idiosyncratic view. For Dan Arbus. Robert Adams for his concern about urban sprawl and threats to the environment.
Ralph Gibson for his fascination with the mysterious. Louis Baltz for his fear of the housing tract. The anonymous of architecture. Joe Deal for more anonymous architecture and an extraordinary pool. Judy Fiskin for jewel like little images. Sebastian Salgado for just a sea of humanity. Roger Merton for the artifice um, all around us. Henry Wessel for nature overwhelming architecture. And for seeing the urban landscape at night. William Eggleston for looking at what only w William Eggleston would look at and doing it consistently. Stephen Shore for using a large camera to document the everyday. For Joel Meyerowitz for photographing the beautiful and looking at it with a clear-eyed stare. For leaving the shutter open long enough to let things unpredictable happen. <laughs> 